welcome to the satellite communication course today we uh, learn here uh, that a subsystem component satellite subsystem component so for the satellite subsystem component we have a transponder system antenna system power system then telemetry tracking and control system altitude and orbit control system then thermal system and a satellite structure that we have seen earlier and this uh, this one is a diagram block diagram of a satellite configuration here and uh, we we have learned this uh, satellite configuration earlier now today we start here with a transponder subsystem so what do you mean by this uh, subsystem means it has a various component okay that it has a various component and uh, why word is subsystem that is about a main is about your satellite configuration and for those satellite configuration these are the sub components we have okay so that's why we say it here the transponder subsystem and uh, then about the major sub subsystem component of our the satellite communication now this a uh, transponder generally we say that it has a uh, some particular payload and this particular this payload that will be useful for the satellite communication means we can say that this payload carried by the satellite for communication and that depends upon that number of transponders we have so how many number of transponders we are using in the given satellite and for the given transponder what will be your antenna system so based on that that uh, satellite or their satellite applications okay are vary so now uh, generally there are the various types of a transponder and the role of a transponder is the different and uh, because they have the inbuilt various comfort so generally a transponder it will act as a repeater so means it just at uh, receiving the signal from the earth station and transmitting back to the earth station now there in this case particular case if you consider that uh, that just like act as a uh, repeater means act as a whatever the signal level is there uh, that will be propagating there so that's why you can say that it is just like a repeater or it receiving the signal from the earth station okay whatever the signals we are getting that will be receiving the signal from what the earth station and then then after the signal receiving from the earth station by this particular transponder and then retransmitting back to the earth station how that signal is retransmitting back by converting the frequency so we have the frequency conversion takes place because we can we say that whenever we have the earth station it will transmit the signal that will be of a uplink frequency signal this is about nothing but a satellite now it is about a uplink one and the signal transmitting from the satellite to the earth station that is nothing but a downlink one so this is about your earth station now when signal received by the satellite then satellite convert that signal okay whichever the signals are received by from this earth station by the satellite that will convert the signal into a, a downlink frequency signal so means frequency conversion takes place in this a transponder there so trans received signal from the earth station and then we need to transfer the signal to the earth station so that is about a rule of this particular transponder and generally it a, a transponder uh, we we are using Uh, that changing the frequency or just like it act as a mirror or it just like act as a repeater so according to that they have the types of a transponder but this type of this one because it is receiving and converting the frequency this type of a transponder that is generally it is called as a bent pipe transponder so this type of a transponder it is called as a bent pipe transponder now this particular if you see here 
the way we say that that is a conversion of a received signal from the earth station and retransmitting back to the earth station by converting the frequency and that is called as a band pipe transformer so here in this band band type transformer what happened here there is a frequency conversion takes place you can see that in this particular band pipe transformer there is a frequency conversion takes place so generally there are the types of a transformer whether it is a non regenerative type or a regenerative type okay so there are the types of a transformer because based on that non regenerative and a regenerative non -re non regenerative and a regenerative type in the case of if you consider that in a non regenerative is what so in which what happen uh, that so in uh, so generally we first of all we consider that a regenerative type in a regenerative type what happen if the transponder receive the signal okay transponder receive the signal and then process it okay received signal will be processed and then then it will be transmitted back to the earth station okay so transponder whichever the signal received by the transponder it will process and then it will retransmit back and in the non regenerative tra transponder it will not process the signal okay in a non non regenerative type it will not process the signal it is just like a work as a frequency conversion because we have a uplink and downlink frequency is different so it just converting the frequency and here it it process the signal which are the signals are received by the transponder from the earth station it will process it okay that frequency conversion is again here so whichever the transponder we have they have the same frequency conversion is there but here in this case it what happen whichever the signals are received by this particular transponder that signals will be processed by this particular transponder so on a transponder there are some on board processing units are there okay so we can we can consider that for this particular uh, transponder so on board processing units are there in a transponder so that on board processing transponder that will process the signal they have the uh, if okay they have intermediate frequency uh, component there so they will switching the channels or they will uh, change their uh, baseband signal that will be required for the transmission there okay so or according to the various channels and all so they have the specific if for those particular channel these, these are about the regenerative transponder means it will process they have the on board processor they have separate if for switching the channels and all or they, that if is generally required for the change that switching the baseband signal okay that is required for the switching the base band system but uh, in the case of a non regenerative it has only a frequency conversion okay it has only a frequency conversion so now in a band pipe transponder if you see the band pipe transponder it is just like it has only a frequency conversion so this band pipe transponder is nothing but what it is a non regenerative type okay so that is about it there are two types of a transponder one is about regenerative type another is about non regenerative type band pipe band pipe transponder it just only a convert a frequency so that is belongs to a non regenerative type in a regenerative type it is trans it it process the signal and then it retransmit it using the change in the frequency and all so there are the types of a transponder based on the what what are the roles of this particular transponder so that's why they have the different various types of a transponder next we consider here that is about a band pipe transponder or a uh, they have the on board uh, we can say that uh, that uh, on board processing unit so that will consider here means regenerative and non regenerative type of a transponder 
So you'll first understand that what do you mean by this bent pipe transformer and uh, what are the conversion mechanism is used in this particular transformer. So then we say that a uh, we have the uh, this bent type uh, transformer. It's just like uh, converting the frequency there. So then uh, we need to know about how they are going to be convert that frequency now. Okay. So now simple. So generally we say that for a given particular unit of a transponder means it is receiving the signal. Okay. It receiving the signal. So we have the antenna here. It receiving the signal. And then we have a transponder. And then in a transponder frequency conversion takes place and it produces the output. So if you see here, so they have the input and output. If you compare here, the input and output, they have the direct relationship. And that direct relationship only what? They have the only the variation in the frequency there. Because conversion of a conversion in the frequency takes place here. Okay, the conversion in the frequency takes place. So how that frequency conversion takes place? Whether we, we, are, we are using that a single conversion or a double conversion unit or single conversion mechanism or a double conversion mechanism. Based on that, they are this bent pipe transponder is classified in a two types. So that is about one. We can say it is about a single conversion type. And another is about a double conversion type. Okay, single conversion type and a double conversion type. So in a in a single conversion type, what happens? So we have the input signal frequency that is nothing but we can say it is about a uplink one. And that signal frequency is translated here. Signal frequency is translated to the downlink frequency means it's just like a they have suppose I am saying for example I am saying that we have the uplink frequency of a 2 gigahertz now and we need to convert a down sampling that is of a uh, we can consider uh, a, a downlink frequency is about a 1 gigahertz so only we require a divider here so that your conversion of the circuit takes place that is about a one gigahertz there. okay so only one mechanism to convert directly or single mechanism to convert the frequency there so that's why it is called as a single conversion transformer okay so that's why it is called as a single conversion transformer but in the case of a double conversion transformer so whichever the uplink frequency is there now in a single conversion, what happened here? Only a, what happened? Whatever the uplink signal is there, uplink signal will be there. That will be translated to the downlink frequency signal. Okay. So that signal will be translated to the downlink one. Because uplink frequency and downlink frequency, they have the difference. Okay. So they just like a frequency translated. Here we can say that a frequency translated. Frequency is translation takes place, or we can say that translated here. Translate the frequency from up conversion to the down conversion. So uplink to the downlink one. But in the case of a double conversion type, the frequency, whichever the uplink frequency is there, that will be translated to the lower IF. Okay, intermediate frequency. Means whichever the uplink signal received, that will be switched to the lower IF and then after that it will be amplified okay there will be amplification takes place and then that after that amplification then it will be translated okay that is will be translated and then it will be after translation we'll get that a downlink frequency signal so translation is takes place here so then we'll get that downlink now if you consider here in this case of a 
double conversion type. Here, what happened? In a double conversion type, means we are just converting the frequency down convert here for a specific channel. And then again, you can try, we are need to translate here. Okay. So likewise, we have the translation of a frequency change takes place here. So that's why this one is called as a double conversion type of a transform. So now we uh, take example. We'll uh, just uh, draw a diagram and uh, that will reflect a, a bend type transform direction. Now uh, we consider here see that okay. Now this one is about if we consider a receiving antenna now. Then after that it has the band pass filter. Then there is a switching unit. So this will be a just I am because I need to draw in a single line, so I'll just give the number instead of writing one that in the box. Okay, I will provide the number there. Okay. So this that will okay that uh, that will benefit me. So I have to actually this one is about actually switch here. Okay, so the way that we have to use one or two, right? This one is about it. Both are connected. So this one is not connected. Okay, this is not there. Only the one is there. Likewise. Either it will connect to the one or two here. Then this one we consider that. I'm just typing instead of that. I'm just uh, writing the number here. Okay. So maybe. And then we have the antenna. That is about a transmitting antenna. Six, five, five. Okay, like this one. I just forgot. Okay, this one is about a seven. Now, this is about a figure that is a paint pipe transponder. Okay. Now, one means what? This one and this is what a two booth. That is nothing but what? A wide band RX, or you can say that what is the signal we received down converter. Okay. Then a three that is nothing but what? A three dB hybrid model okay so we can consider that third is here then uh, we can consider here four is about it we have the demultiplexer and then uh, likewise i just forgot this line this one here Then uh, just uh, write five here. This one is about a five here, and that five is about a power amplifier. Then we have the six multiplexer. Then we have the seven. That is about a attenuator. Now, uh, now, if you see here uh, in this uh, uh, bin pipe transponder here, now this one one 
one is nothing but what a down converter okay this one is about a down converter now and this third is about a we can consider that is about a switch or a 3d hybrid switch or a 3d hybrid model here okay so that is about we can consider that a third is about a 3d hybrid model here now what if you see here this particular fourth is nothing but what that is just like a we have the d multiplex okay this one is about a d multiplex so then uh, we can uh, consider this next one is about uh, this one is a alternator okay this one is about a alternator and this five is about a power amplifier then we have a max and then a transmitting antenna this one is about a transmitting antenna so here we uh, see that this particular transponder is nothing but a single conversion type. okay so now we are converting the, the signal okay so just like a we have down converter down convert the signal and then uh, same whatever the signal we are getting that will be amplified here now that is called as a single conversion type now it is just like a down converting and it will be transmitting so now here in this case what happened the signal received this one which was the signal received by this particular antenna so that signals are received that we say it is about a uplink and a transmitting signal from the satellite to the earth station that is nothing but a, a downlink one so here whichever the signal received from the earth station that are they they have some particular noise okay at the at, at the time of receiving or we just uh, consider whenever the signals received so that signal is to be uh, received by this antenna okay it can be uh, received any signal but we need to restrict to the whichever the frequency signal received by this particular transmitter so means a filter is used here a bandpass filter is used that will restrict that particular spectrum to be received okay that particular spectrum of that particular band that is to be received by this particular band pass filter so only that particular band is to be received by the transponder so that we can avoid the any other spurious signal or we can remove this particular noise there even if that signal received they have some particular noise okay but only what the thing is that band pass filter is just like restricting the signal uh band or restricting that particular spectrum that is to be received by this particular transponder there so then once once that particular signal received here so according to that we say that we have the particular spectrum so that's why your uh, satellite or that particular transponder uh, that will define you what will be the bandwidth operating bandwidth of this particular transponder so this uh, this model or this particular system will tell you what will be the operating spectrum of your particular transponder there. so they, they have the restrictions regarding this particular bandpass filter so now whenever we say that we use that if intermediate frequency signal so we need to provide the or we need to uh, the, uh, find out what will be the bandwidth and then around that particular uh, particular band of operations we need to find out the center frequency and that center frequency around that we have the spectrum and we can specify that particular band or that particular corresponding band of a operation of a your transponder 
so then uh, after that your signal is switched to the here we have the rf switch that will transmit the signal to the receiver now so just like there is initially it has a filter now it has the role the role of a filter here so that will transfer the signal to the receiver there so we can consider that either this receiver or this particular conversion here that is to be used so generally most of the time one is used and this two is nothing but a standby but this the uh, this changes of the switch from 1 to 2 okay this is about you can say that is about a rf switch that changing the that uh, switch from 1 to 2 that can be handled by this telemetry traffic control system so or we can say that that can that switch position can be changed by the or station so which uh, uh, which particular uh, receiver is to be used and uh, that particular that switch according to that that particular switch is to be changed there so if you see here so what is what mechanism is there in this particular rfc so here is the band pass filter then we have the here is just separation of a band then we have a receiver and in this particular receiver what happen so they have the low noise amplifier okay so that is about just like uh, that particular switch is nothing but a down conversion takes place or we can say that that is nothing but a uh, your wide band receiver okay so this one we can consider this one is nothing but a wide band receiver now now in that wide band receiver what happen we have the now we can see that we are getting the signal from what this one is about a rf switch it that is about a 1 and 2 and after that rf switch your signal through that it will be transmitted to the low noise amplifier here we have a low noise amplifier because signal received by this a circuit and uh, the that uh, low noise amplifier then we have a mixer that mixer is to be used to down convert your signal then a specific band is to be transmitted to band pass filter then we have the amplifier now after that we have this 3db hybrid switch okay now same is here we have the lna low noise amplifier then uh, we consider that mixer here then band pass filter then amplifier then hybrid switch here. okay that is about your transmitting of this now for this particular mixer we need to provide some particular local oscillator to so that we will convert our signal and that is about 2.225 gigahertz 225 okay so similarly we have the local oscillator here the same local oscillator frequency is about the same and that will convert the signal now now this wideband receiver it will select through this particular rf switch and we can consider that here we have to consider that this circuit is rf switch will change one or two and then according to that switching the one and two so then uh, we'll get the output with respect to whichever the particular switch we have 
uh, this rf switch will try direct your signal to the either uh, for this one one or two okay actually here we have to use the switch now so that's why we can consider either one or two likewise so it uh, they just like a low noise amplifier then a down conversion mechanism okay then we have the filter so that filter is useful for the what image rejection filter specific selection of filter okay that is about image rejection filter so that is just like a specific frequency or specific band is to be considered by this particular filter and after that we have the amplifier now how this down conversion takes place so down conversion there is some mix there is a mixer and that uh, mixer which uh, we provide the input to this particular mixer suppose we consider that a mixer frequency you can consider here supposed to be for a given particular local oscillator frequency f yellow now and we have that input frequency is nothing but f in now so what will what will happen here the output of this particular mixer okay so we are getting the mixer output that will be sum and difference frequencies sum and difference frequencies means what we have the f in plus f hello and we can consider that f in minus f hello so that is about a input signal frequency plus local oscillator means we can consider that this is nothing but a sum and this is nothing but a difference component okay so we can consider that that mixer generate a sum and difference component but the if you consider that this uh, sum and difference component so this will be generated by how because we are using this particular local oscillator so we can change the local oscillator frequency to generate that particular range of a signal or particular required frequency signal that is to be propagating or that is to be down link here so that's the, that's why we can say that here uh, that uh, mixer is used to generate that particular frequency signal so generally what happen so means our aim is about to down down convert the signal okay our aim is about to down convert the signal so we need to use the that is about a difference component so we will not use this particular some component we will just use it uh, difference component so uh, that will provide you in that particular difference of a signal there if supposed to be we require a different frequency so if it is uh, that uh, we can consider that a local oscillator with a different variation in the frequency so we will get that different component here but that 2.25 gigahertz supposed to be it is not available there okay because what happen generally a crystal oscillator will operate in terms of a megahertz of a frequency so that local oscillator will not generate a 2.22 gigahertz of a frequency so then how to get this particular frequency in terms of a gigahertz so using a crystal we can use a crystal that crystal is in terms of a megahertz then we can use a multiple crystal that multiplier okay we will use a multiplier to this crystal so that it will generate a frequency that local oscillator frequency of a 2.225 gigahertz there and after that signal propagate towards this image rejection filter so what happen here because we consider that so generally we say that it generate a sum and difference component mixer requires sum and difference component so image rejection filter that will work to deviate from this sum and difference component it will just select only a difference component or we can say that this image rejection filter will reject a sum component so it will just use or it will just uh, transfer that a difference component of a signal 
and it will reject the some frequency comp. Means output of this uh, bandpass filter here, okay, this particular image rejection filter is nothing but what? F in minus FLO. That is about the output of this particular. Filter. Now, for example, if supposed to be, we consider that your uh, transponder is operating, okay, if your transponder is operating in a C band, suppose. So, what is the range of a C band? L band 1 to 2 gigar, C band, okay, then we have a 2 to 4 gigar, likewise. So, we can consider that your, uh, sorry, L, S, C, L is 1 to 2, S is about 2 to 4, and then C band is about a 4 to 8 gigar. So, according to that, if you consider that a operation of a frequency signal by this particular C band, now in the, in the case of a C band, so, what will be the uplink frequency and what will be the downlink frequency? One table is there and that will provide you the bandwidth allocation for a given particular satellite. What will be the uplink and a downlink frequency? So, if supposed to be your trans uh, if the transponder is working, it is operating in the C band now, so that Uplink frequency is nothing but what? 5925 to 6425. Okay, that is about a frequency it is in terms of the megahertz. And the downlink is what? 37002 to 4200. That is in terms of a megahertz now. Means we can say that here, means 5.925 gigahertz to 6.425 gigahertz. Okay, we can write. In terms of a gigahertz also so that is about a range of a frequency for this uplink and this one is about the range of frequency of a downlink. so if you take a this a, as an example of a c band now and a mixer provides a input and a output component now if supposed to be we consider that a 595 Okay, if supposed to be we consider that a frequency is about a 595 to 6425 gigahertz, and if it is mixed with the the sum and difference component, means what? It will sum means what? 595 plus local oscillator that is about a 2 to 5 gigahertz, and difference is about what? 5925 minus 2 point. Okay, so we'll just write a 225 megahertz now. So we can find out a output of this particular frequency. Now we can say that 5925 minus 2225. This one is about 0, this one is 3, this one is about a 3. Yes, you can see that this is about a downlift frequency. That is about a lower band of a downlift frequency. That is about a 3700. And if you consider that a 6425 minus 2225, that will be 0. This will be 0. That is about 420. So this is about a 420. So you can say that a band is about what? A 3700 megahertz to 4200 megahertz. That will be of a downlink frequency signal. That is for the transmitter. So, we, we can consider that for a given particular satellite, where is that, sorry, that uh, transponder will operate in a which band. So, according to that, we can consider the that uplink and a downlink frequency signal. So, if here we have considered that a local oscillator frequency is about a 2.2 to 5 gigahertz, if this local oscillator frequency is different, then in that case, that downlink frequency will be different. But here, the operating band for the C band, we say here, that is about a 5925 to 6425, and downlink is uplink. So, according to that, for this uplink and downlink, that local oscillator frequency is out to be 2.225 gigahertz there. Okay, that will be a 2.225 gigahertz. Now, one table, and that will that table reflects a satellite communication and then 
what are the various bands of a operation is there now we consider a ladder now that particular table so this one we are getting the output this is about a receiver we are getting the output here that is about a that uh, output okay well, this is about receiver one this one is about receiver two now so we are getting the output using this 3db hybrid switch and that 3db hybrid switch will work uh any okay here likewise we have a diagram is about what we can say that a receiver and after that receiver this is about a one and two this is about a wide band receiver and then this one is about a 3b 3db hybrid switch then this 3db hybrid switch that uh, signal which uh, that we can say that it transmit or use the feed the signal to this particular demultiplexer okay output of this receiver to the demultiplexer through this 3db switch okay so now then uh, what happened this demultiplexer what the demultiplexer divides the wide band signal to the narrow band one okay so we can say that uh, we have the the role of this particular demultiplexer is to be change that is about whatever the signal we are receiving to the particular band of operation there and we convert that each of every channel okay signal we are getting that is we need to con convert that each and every channel and is that over the channel will be whichever we are converting because wide wide band to the narrow band means we are just converting the separate channel separating the channel and then each and every channel will be passing through the alternator okay will be passing through the alternator for the removal of a noise and that will give the output to the power amplifier so amplification takes place okay so here and that alternator is just like we consider that we need to minimize the noise or we need to provide the specific input level to this particular power amplifier so that so that a power amplifier generate a specific output so means at the role of alternator okay here the, that alternator is used to generate that particular power level for this given channel whichever the channels we require and that uh, that will give the output to the power amplifier and then a, a, we have the specific each and every channel so for each and every channel they have the different power levels and they have the different power amplifier so the power amplifier is designed in such a way that it provides a fixed gain of output so then this particular power output is just like we consider that it will be transmitted or that will be given to the multiplexer and that will be transmitted by this antenna and so that it will provide the maximum effective isotropic radiated power from this antenna there that, that is called as the eirp okay that is called as eirp so power amplifier is designed such that it will provide a fixed level of a power so that it will generate a maximum eirp there so that is about a effective isotropic radiated power now this uh, we can say that a power output and that will generate a some particular power output level so that will be of what we can say it will be a effective isotropic radiated power so how to calculate that it is depending upon that antenna and then gain and everything so it will provide or it will provide that specific power output and the specific power output how much is the specific power required is there that can be controlled from the our station and then this power amplifier provide the particular specific output then all the whichever the channels we are just okay demultiplexer means separating the channel and here each all the channels are combined here using this multiplexer and then all this each which are the channels we can consider here all the channels are combined here and then that will provide a combined output and that will send that combined output send to the antenna then at antenna transmit the signal to the earth station 
okay that antenna transmit the signal to the host nerve so antenna here we have a transmitting and antenna and receiving antenna both are the same both antennas are same that is to be used in a transponder there so transmitting antenna and receiving antenna both are same in this transponder there so now that is about we can consider that a bent type of a transponder so generally we should know that how what how what this how this particular uh bandwidth is utilized for the given free band there so if you consider that 5925 26425 okay that is about a operating band for the up uplink now so we just consider here 6425 5925 now when the port is 00 now and this one is about 500 so total bandwidth is about a 500 megahertz so this is about a bandwidth that is about a 500 megahertz so that full bandwidth is utilized or this particular full bandwidth is utilized by this particular satellite tra satellite transponder that will be operating in the c band okay that is about it suppose if you consider that the example how many channels or how many specific applications or number of channels supported by this particular transponder 